I have been using Quick Sleeper for almost two years now. And as an endodontist, I identified what I thought was the main value in it. It's simple, delivering intraosseous anesthetic in a very simple way and in a way that is very comfortable and safe for our patients. So I also thought that the learning curve was going to be a little bit longer, but I, I was all into it. I got the device and I started using it in every single lower molar for a few days with the plan of then, you know, being selective. That never happened. I started using it in every single mo lower molar. First, I mastered the technique after a few days and I never went back. And not because I was giving the anesthetic in a very fast, in a very safe way, in a very effective, e efficient way. It's, it was because of my patients' feedback. They just loved it. Their comments were, oh my God, this is amazing. I don't feel half of my face numb. Um, I actually had a couple of referring doctors that called me to ask me if I didn't use any um, anesthetic for their patients. And I said, of course I did. Well, Jackie, they were swearing that yeah, you didn't, that you didn't, that they had the best retinal treatment, that it was very comfortable and that you didn't use any local anesthetic. And so then I tell them, I explain, no, I use an intraosseous. I deliver the, the anesthetic intraosseous with with a new device that is called Quick Sleeper. With kids, it's just amazing. I actually tell them I don't use needles. I use something else. I show them the Quick Sleeper device, and after just putting the tip right into the gum, where everything is um, blanching, I just push slightly. I'm already delivering the intraosseous. They love it, and I'm not going back to the blocks routinely. Now my routine is quick sleeper. As an endodontist, I probably get the hardest cases possible from my referring dentist. And a lot of times I'll get that proverbial hot tooth, that lower second molar that has irreversible pulpitis with or without apical periodontitis. That's just difficult to anesthetize because there's just so much inflammation around it that it just pushes those anesthetic molecules away when you're giving a traditional mandibular block or even a Gau Gates block. So we have to get right into the cancellous bone and bathe the tooth in local anesthetic. So by providing an intraosseous or more aptly uh, named a osteocentral uh, anesthesia technique, where we can get right into the cancellous bone right near the apex, we're able to provide the patient with painless endodontic treatment. Fantastic, Gary. What do the patients feel? I mean, they, they normally, you know, walk away with a a numb lip for a few hours. I mean, what's the experience with them? What's the feedback from your patients? Well, that's the wonderful thing about Quick Sleeper is that number one, it's a painless anesthetic technique because there's a specific way to anesthetize the gingiva. And once you anesthetize the gingiva, because it rotates at such high speeds, the needle and the bevel proprietary manufactured gets right into the tissue and right into through the cortical bone into the cancellous bone very painlessly. And then you can inject the anesthetic. And the great thing about it is number one, you use less anesthetic. And number two, because you're using a osteocentral intraosseous technique, the patient doesn't walk away with a numb lip and a numb chin for four to six hours.
and I've worked with a similar uh, equipment such as a the wand, the slow injector, pain, painless injector, and the uh, a stipend, which is intraosseous. But the difference was that Quick Slipper was so sophisticated in its design and its delivery that it's all in one unit, right? And I got more doctors asking me about that unit on that conference after the live surgery show than the actual surgery I did myself. So that tells something, right? And, and you know, when, when as a clinician who's been doing surgery uh, in dentistry for over 25 years, you know, you come across with a lot of uh, sales rep, you know, pushing products into review and things like that. And you, 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 you do it with a grain of salt because many of them don't meet your expectation, but there's only very few that actually not only meet your expectation, but surpass your expectation. And a quick sleeper is one of those very few that you are lucky to come across and you actually end up loving it. And, you know, you actually, you know, utilize as part of your workflow, surgical workflow, uh, pretty much daily, uh, you know, for me anyway. So uh, it's been fantastic. I do like it because patients don't see it as a needle. They don't perceive it as a needle. The, the design of the unit uh, is very non-threatening, uh, at least for the patient's perspective. It just looks like a pencil or a pen and you're holding. And so when you're talking to patients, very often my patients are not even aware that I'm administering a local anesthetic in their palate. Um, it may, very often, they, you know, they don't even feel the pressure uh, because of the way the, to the design of the needle, the way it's administered. I mean, mind you, there's, you need to know how to use the product. You can't just arbitrarily pick it up and start going at it. But once you know how to use the product, it's a very straightforward product to use. It's very predictable. Patients generally like it. It's not threatening. Uh, and by the time the palatal freezing is done, for example, as Mark had alluded to, uh, patients are surprised at why and how it didn't hurt. Uh, so that, that's a good plus. Uh, in terms of using it intraosseously, uh, yes, it's a wonderful tool. It's a wonderful device. I too have been familiar with uh, uh, with the the one and the Stabident system and the intraoral system, and I can say uh, it's not even a fair comparison. But uh, hands down, the Quick Sleeper is a superior product. It gets the job done. Whereas with the other products that we talked about, it's a hit and miss. Uh
Bonjour, mon nom est Jean-François Brochu, prosthodontiste. Je pratique depuis euh, plus de 25 ans et malgré toutes ces années de pratique, ça m'arrive encore de manquer des blocs mandibulaires. Sauf que depuis deux euh, ans, j'utilise ce qu'on appelle le Quick Sleeper. Le Quick Sleeper, c'est euh, une anesthésie intra-osseuse. Donc, je ne manque plus de blocs parce que je n'en fais plus. Euh, donc l'anesthésie introsseuse, on va les geler directement à côté de la dent qu'on veut traiter. Et puis, euh, ça donne une anesthésie profonde, rapide, on peut commencer tout de suite à travailler. Euh, donc on n'a plus besoin d'attendre, on n'a plus besoin de, de refaire un bloc parce qu'on l'a manqué. Bref, euh, j'adore ça depuis que j'utilise ça. Il y a une petite courbe d'apprentissage. Donc, ça vaut la peine de prendre une bonne formation pour bien l'utiliser. Puis, une fois qu'on maîtrise la technique, c'est vraiment un bel outil. Euh, il y a aussi des applications partout en bouche pour les infiltrations. Par exemple, maxillaire supérieur, on n'a pas besoin de donner euh, d'anesthésie au palais. Puis, quand on en donne, c'est moins douloureux que la méthode traditionnelle. Euh, c'est vraiment un outil que je crois qui serait bénéfique dans toutes les cliniques dentaires. Si vous faites de l'endo, par exemple, avec une dent qui est en pulpite, c'est un bon moyen d'être capable de, de travailler sur la dent sans causer de douleur aux, aux patients. Bref, ça vaut la peine de l'essayer. Je vous le recommande. Merci.